All right, race fans, I'm down here at Dodge City Raceway Park Pits with a uh, with a three-time national champion in the United Rolls Sprint Series. He's a Belleville national champion twice. He swept last year's uh, Lubbock Wrecker Service uh, 305 Nationals. He picked up the big win last night on night number one. Jake, what do you think, bud, coming to Dodge City and, and uh, sweeping it last year and then picking up the win last night? Well, it's a track I have a lot of laps at running with Rick for as many years as we have. and. We love coming here and Scott Brown, it's awesome that he has a race like this and Tommy gives us a great racetrack like last night. So uh, it gives us a good opportunity to, you know, race and put on a good show for the fans. You know, we're racing here in late August. Usually it's really hot out here in, in western Kansas, but the, the weather's kind of cooperated with us and it's helped Tommy give a good racetrack to the drivers. Last night, I think it was a little unexpected how good a racetrack it actually was. What, uh, with last night's racetrack, was you, was you, did you think it was gonna come in as well as it did? No, honestly, it was almost a little too good early, but that's fine, you know, like we'd rather have it slick and wide um, come feature time like it was, so. Uh, Luckily, we drew up front in our heat race and was able to win that. Otherwise, you know, starting starting far back in a heat race on a narrow track is a little difficult, but uh, that's fine as long as we have a nice wide race track come feature time. That's right. Well, you know, we always appreciate you coming out here to Western Kansas and running with the United World Sprint Series. What uh, what's your schedule look like the rest of the year? Um, we're going to go to Eagle. Um, I'm really not sure what our our, our plans kind of got all messed up a couple weeks ago, unfortunately, and. Uh, so we're just kind of going week to week and doing what we doing what we can. Well, I appreciate you coming out, Jake. The three-time national champion in the United World Sprint Series. Last year's sweep of the 305 Nationals right here at Dodd City. And Jake, we'll hope to talk with you later on in Victory Lane. So. Thanks a lot. All right, guys, once again, we're down here in the pits at the 305 Lubbock Rector Nationals at Dodd City with Jeremy Huey. She picked up a third place finish last night. Jeremy, this is kind of a home track for you, living just uh, 30 miles north of here. What do you what you think of last night? Oh, it was awesome. We had a really good track. It had multiple lanes. Um, we picked up quite a bit of speed here lately, and it's carrying over. Um, we're running pretty good right now, and we just hope to keep it up. You know, the track, we've talked to Jake just a little bit ago. You know, I think the track was a little unexpected last night. Tommy did such a great job. We've talked about the weather helping him out here. It's been a, kind of a beautiful day here. A little windy, so I don't know if that's going to be an issue. What are, you, what are you thinking on your setup tonight? What are you going to have to do to try to repeat? I think we're just going to keep it the same. Um, you know, we were pretty fast there, but I think we were a little tight. So I think the, the weather, and as long as Tommy does a good job on the track like he did last night, I think we'll be all right and just let the track come to us, and I think we'll be pretty quick. All right, well, I'll tell you what, guys, he's setting fifth in the in the national points for the United World Sprint Series. Uh, I'm not sure where you're setting at the Dodge City Raceway Park points, but, uh, you know, you've ran with the United World Sprint Series. You've had some wins here at Dodge City, so this might be your night to, uh, to do it. Jeremy, good luck, and thanks for talking to us. All right, thank you, guys. All right, guys, we're back down here in the pits once again. He picked up a second-place finish last night. It's John Carney the second out of El Paso, Texas. John, glad to have you in Dodge. Oh, yeah, glad to be here. It's a nice weekend. The weather's nice for sure. You know, we've talked about that with some of the other drivers. The weather has just totally cooperated for us this weekend. In late August, you don't know what to expect coming to Dodge City for sure. Oh, for sure. Any, any time in the Midwest this time of year, a thunderstorm could pop up and ruin everything. So uh, it's been good, and I think it's supposed to be clear the rest of the weekend. So. Well, I hope so, because you did a curse word just a minute ago mentioning this thunderstorm. But uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, this weekend. Uh, Scott Brown, the owner of your car, one of the big sponsors here at the Lubber, Lubbock Records Service, DCRP 305 Sprint Nationals. You know, I grew up watching this car, Gary Lee Myers out of Cimarron. You know, he uh, kind of raced Dot City with this car weekly, you know, back when he was at McCarty. You know, you've done really well in the car as well. You know, I don't want to don't want to count you out here, but uh, you've done a lot of good things. What uh, what do you expect for tonight coming in tonight number two? Uh, they worked the track a little bit different than they did yesterday, um, with the expectation of having more modifieds, which there are more. I don't know what the count is, so uh, the track will race a little bit different tonight. So it's it's the same process though. You still got to race and get through your heat race and. Uh, just got to try to make that redraw for the feature. That kind of makes things easy for the main event. 
you know that that's exactly right and a lot of a lot of the racetracks that we've dealt with this year with the united world sprint series unfortunately the weather's played a big part of it and and it's kind of been a lockdown racetrack last night just surprised everybody and hopefully tommy can put us a good track in tonight you know the modifies there's going to be more traffic out on the racetrack but uh, any sponsors you want to thank yeah i love a wrecker service um wilson wrecker um, krs fabrication um, engine builder ppe donnie i mean there's a uh, a lot of people that help put this whole team together so we can come out here and play and have fun. Well, John, I appreciate you coming to Dodge City and taking the time to uh, talk with us here. And uh, good luck tonight, buddy. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. All right, guys, we're back here on IMCA TV, produced by Speedmax TV as well. Zach Blurton, a three-time national champion in the United World Sprint Series. He's got five uh, victory lane finishes here with the United World Sprint Series in 2020, currently leading the national points. You know, last night may not have went exactly like you wanted it to go. I know you like to get up there a little bit further in the podium, but uh, you learned a lot last night, I think, with a good track like that. What do you, what do you want to come in tonight, number two? Yeah, I, uh, I wasn't ready for the track to um, stay as good as it did for that long. Uh, I figured it was going to rubber up a little bit faster. It really didn't at all. So um, just got to keep an eye on the racetrack a little bit better tonight and, um, you know, just, just work on this thing a little bit and uh, we'll, we'll be all right. You know, we talked about the weather with some of the other drivers. The weather's kind of cooperated, cooperated with us here at Dodge City this weekend, having some great temperatures. You know, we had a little chance of some showers this morning. Unfortunately, they missed us a little bit. Tommy's working the track. What, uh, coming into today, do you think that the track's gonna be similar or with the modifieds on the racetrack, the extra car traffic, do you think that's gonna change the way you do things? Yeah, I definitely think it'll, uh, slicking up a lot faster um, there's a lot of modifieds here so um, it's pretty sunny outside so um, I think the racetrack will develop faster in the heat race and then he'll probably have to uh, work it maybe a little bit before the A feature but um, he uh, he knows what he's doing and I'm sure he'll have it in tip-top shape well Zach I appreciate you you know you've won a lot of races at Dodge City you know it's it's a big weekend and uh, we were rooting for you and uh, good luck buddy thank you